Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to try Amazon kitchen gadgets that were all $10 or under. I saw these and I was like this would be great for the holidays to test these out to see if they make the holidays easier. And I realized I'm posting this on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving by the way. But I was like I'm testing these on Thanksgiving so even if they do work you're not gonna have a chance to get them for Thanksgiving. But people do holiday meals all through December with their families right? Cause you got like Christmas and Hanukkah and like just family gatherings. So let's test out some kitchen gadgets that are cheap and see if they're gonna make your holiday season a little better. Ready? Let's begin. So one of them has to do with corn, so I have to boil some water. Do I have a thing big enough for corn? Give me a second. I don't think this is big enough for corn. That was a waste of water. Okay, well that's boiling. We are going to dust out the freshest mist. What is this called? Stem? Is this in a name? I think it's called Stem. Anyway, you know how sometimes you want some lemon juice? Why is this not showing my whole face? You know how sometimes you want some lemon juice, but you don't want to have to cut the lemon in half and squeeze it? That's too much work. So what you do, apparently, I feel like this is the episode of Friends where Joey does like the milk commercial with the thing you stab in the milk. Why can't I get this? Oh, I put the opening at the bottom. So how do I do it? Oh, they give me a tray. Apparently, you still have to cut the lemon? You have to cut the tip of the lemon off. What's the point of this? So you have a mist instead of a dribble? Oh dear God. All right, hold on. I thought I wasn't gonna need enough. Oh God. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, oh this is dripping everywhere. This is dripping. All right, fancy. All right, now let's see if we can uh, spray it off. Let's just spray it on a paper towel, I guess. How long do you do this for? Come on, come on. Goodness, nothing's coming out. Did I do anything? None of these are in English. They have, oh, it's in the English section. Don't judge me. Flavor your soft drinks, cocktails, or season your salads, seafood, or other recipes with a light mist of fresh citrus. It includes two sizes for optimum extraction. Let's squeeze a little bit, get the juices going. It's juicing out the top. I've got lemon juice all over me. Thankfully, I don't have any cuts. That's what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving. No cuts on my hands for the lemon juice to burn me. I'm still getting nothing. I'm still getting absolutely nothing. Oh, 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 come on. You, oh, you were almost there. You almost had it. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, we could just, you know, do that. <laughs> this sucks. Let's try the lime one. I actually thought this would work. I didn't get any lemon juice. Hold on, get in there. Get, I'm getting juice everywhere, all right. why I thought that was a good idea to show you that it works. It tastes pretty good. <laughs> okay, I don't know what was up with the lemon because the lemon was clearly juicy. So I don't know why it wasn't spraying, but the lime one works. So oh, now I'm torn. Does this product work or does it not? Was I being fooled by the lime or was I being tricked by the lemon? I just don't know. But I do know that if you just want some lemon or lime juice fresh, you just cut it open, squeeze it. That's what they've been doing for quite a while now. Has not seemed to fail anybody. <laughs> so, next product. My water's still boiling. It's almost boiling. Then we're gonna put some corn in it. And then also I have to make some pasta later to try on another thing. But we still have one more thing we could try without water being boiled to its full potential. And that is fruit skin remover. There's no actual name. It just describes what it is. There's no name for this. This is an easy way to peel <coughs> Your oranges. Now I do have an orange peeler and it's this. You just stick this, make this little lip thing in the orange, go and then you peel it. I have that. And I am a fan of orange peelers because ugh, my hands are all sticky. Hold on. As I was saying, I am a fan of orange peelers because it doesn't get under your fingernails. You don't use a knife. It's just easier. So I'm hoping this one works. They gave me zero instruction. Am I supposed to do it like this? I'd assume. Okay, so this, I think you stick your fingers in and then you peel an orange. Let's try. Oh. 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 Let's, oh. <gasps> oh, I'm just gonna keep peeling this cause I can. That actually peeled a lot nicer than I thought it would. And then apparently I'm just supposed to be able to do this. Pop you open, pop you open. Grab it. Oh, she peed, oh no, wait, use the tool. Use the tool, Ballinger. Huh? Oh, 
Okay, I'm using the tool. I'm using my fingers now. Oh! 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 I mean, it worked. This also looks like a terrible orange. It's yellow, basically. Maybe this was secretly a lemon. I mean, the coloring of this does not scream orange to me. Well, the lighting is orange in this kitchen. Let's just try it. Mmm! I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, no, I like this orange. This is a good orange. Thank you, breakfast. Oh, my water's boiling. I'm gonna stick some corn in that, and then once it's done, we'll be back and we'll test my senior corn peeler. It's not the junior, it's the senior. And we're back with the smell of sweet, sweet corn, which you cannot smell, so which you can see is sweet, sweet corn. Okay, so you know how no one likes eating corn on the cob because it gets stuck in your teeth, but you love the flavor of corn on the cob because it's better than corn in a can because it's just better. So a lot of people like take a knife and they scrape the kernels off the cob so it's just corn off the cob, but still fresh. But this little doohickey makes it easier, so it says, to scrape the corn off that delicious cob so it doesn't get stuck in your teeth and ruin the rest of your evening. What is flying off of this? Is plastic flying? Don't get plastic in my corn. This is rude. Is there instructions? Nope. All right, we're winging this. I do not have corn holders. No, we're gonna use a fork. Oh God, this is difficult. Maybe, no, no, all right. Shiver me timbers. Take. <gasps> oh. Oh, this is magical. Oh, this is absolutely, without a doubt, magical. Hold on. Oh, God. Look. Look. <gasps> it's delicious. It has no nutritious. Oh. I mean, this actually works way better than I thought it would. Just like a thousand times. Oh, I just dropped corn on the floor. That was happen. I didn't think this would work. I thought this was gonna be a complete bust. It takes a second to get it under the corn, but once it's under, it slides right through. Where has this been all of my life? This is phenomenal. Senior corn peeler. Senior, senior, senior. You, I am thankful for this Thanksgiving. My God. Takes a second to figure it out. Oh, mm-hmm. My Thanksgiving has been made. This is amazing. Everyone's getting this for Christmas. If you think you're not, you're wrong, family. Between the corn peeler, the orange peeler, and the lime zester, or mister, the lime mister, not the lemon mister. The lemon mister does not work. But the lime one, Oh, that one does. We're having a fantastic, easy kitchen gadget Thanksgiving, people. But the last product is an adjustable strainer for you to drain your pasta more easily. Why are they pouring the water to the pasta into another pot? Pour it into the sink. You're done with it afterwards, right? Did they not have a sink on set? That's probably what it was. They didn't have a sink on set when they did the photos. But I'm boiling with some water, and then I'll make some pasta, and then we'll try this one. I mean, these gadgets, all of their $10. Great stocking stuffers, I must say. Hashtag not app. So, pairing. Apparently, you can just slip this onto any sized pot. This can't be right. No, it goes like this. Slip this on to any sized pot. Oh, it did slip. Oh, okay. And then you'll be able to, don't, don't you dare look at my dirty sink. It is stained, it is old. We're gonna get a new one when we remodel the kitchen. Okay, so, oh God. some pasta. Oh, well, I'd say that was pretty magical. Wait, why are all of these cheap gadgets actually working? Like, I was like, it's not gonna work because they've got lips on this pot. Okay, I need to put this down before I burn myself. Hold on. I thought for sure that would just like come off. Oh, where is it? It would just come off, but like, those are some sturdy clips. And I was like, cause this has lips on it. It has like little divots for you to pour stuff out. I didn't think this would be able to conform to it, but it conformed, guys. Oh, I made a noise. Oh, these have been tucked in this whole time, haven't they? Well, I was cooking, that's why. I am thankful for how well these gadgets work. The only thing that didn't work was the lemon mister, but the lime one did. Maybe it was the lemon. And also I ordered a carrot peeler that's supposed to like peel your carrots in the fancy ways, but it never showed up. Got delayed and then lost in transit. So just imagine that and let's imagine that it worked because that's the theme of this video is it works. I don't think we've had a lot of videos where like most of the gadgets or products actually actually work. The orange one worked great. It actually worked better than my normal orange peeler. The lime mister, don't know why you need it, works. Senior corn, oh, yes. 
And then now the uh, adjustable strainer. I mean, I'm all about this, guys. Can I eat my pasta now? I add nothing to it. Mm. I love carbs. And I'm thankful for you. So, I think that's it for today's video. Because these things were fantastic. This is just a good day. You know why it's a good day? Because it's, it's Christmas season now. Because it's Christmas season. Anyway, for anyone watching this the day it comes out on Thanksgiving, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving if you're in America. I mean, maybe if you're not in America, you're celebrating Thanksgiving because it's just a day to eat good food and give thanks, so that's good. I mean, that's what it wasn't was originally, but that's what we've turned it into because the history of Thanksgiving is just a bunch of lies. Politics. I love you guys so much though. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving or just a random great Thursday. I love you guys. Shout out for today. The person who retweeted the last ever learning Sunday, how to fold a fitted sheet. I knew it would get no views because guys don't actually want learning Sundays. You just think you do. We'll go Joey Burge. Thank you so much, Joey, for retweeting that last video. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. All these products will be in a link down below to my Amazon playlist thing. Still don't know what to call that. Shopping cart, but it's checked out. Receipt? My Amazon receipts? No? Merry Christmas. These are all great stocking stuffers. I love you. And remember, above all else, stay awesome possums.